In this video, we'll balance the equation Na2CO3 plus H3PO4. This is a little bit of a challenging equation, so stick with me. Let's count our atoms up. We have two sodiums, one carbon, three oxygens. I'm gonna ignore these for a minute. Three hydrogens, and then I consider this PO4 to be one thing. It's a polyatomic ion. It's called the phosphate ion. It'll stick together. We have it here, and then we have it over here. So we're gonna count it as one thing. On the product side, we have three NAs, one carbon, one oxygen plus this other oxygen here, these other two, that gives us three, two hydrogens, and then one of the phosphate ions. When I see I have a two and a three here, I'm gonna need to get this to be an even number so I can balance this out. So let's put a two in front of the Na3PO4. So three times two, that gives us six, and then one PO4 times the two, that gives us two of those. So we have that there. Let's fix our sodiums over here now, because I could put a three in front, two times three. That gives me six, so those are balanced out. One times three for the carbon, three carbons, and then oxygens, three times the three, gives us nine. And then we'll leave these alone because we didn't change the coefficient. Let's see, why don't we fix the PO4 next? That's pretty simple. We have two here and just one here, so we'll put a two in front of the H3PO4, phosphoric acid. Hydrogens, three times two, six of those, but the one phosphate times the two, we have two of those, so we balance this. Why don't we fix our carbons next? We have three here and one here, so we could just put a three right here. One times three, that gives us three. Those are balanced. We need to update our oxygens though. We have one plus two times three is six. We have seven, that doesn't look great, but we're left with just the oxygens and hydrogen. So maybe if we fix the hydrogens, that'll help fix the oxygens. I have six here and two here, coefficient of three. Two times three, that's six. That fixes the hydrogens. Let's update our oxygens again. We have one times three, plus two times three is six, and that equals nine, and we are done, I think. Yep, we're done. This equation is balanced. I think the key was to recognize that I needed to get an even number of sodiums so I could balance those out, and then everything just seemed to kind of flow from there. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for sodium carbonate plus phosphoric acid, and if you made it this far with me, thanks for watching.